Okay, welcome back. Dave here. Cracking code with Dave. We're going to talk about type properties and type methods. So here's a term that I not I had not known before. We're talking about this in regards to structs. So let's make a new structure. If you haven't if you don't know what structs are, you should watch the video I made about structs. But essentially they're blueprints. So let's say there's a structure and it's called a user. And that user has some variables like um, username of a string. That's not how you declare it. You got to put a var in front of it or a let in front of it. I'm going to put a var because it might change. Variable email string. And let's say this user has an age and that would be an integer. Okay, so when you make a new user then, let new user equal user. You would declare it like this. Let's say this new user's name is Jim Bob. Jim Bob Joe Jack. Jonas. And his email is, let's see, jbjjj at gmail.com. And his age is 23. Okay, so now we got this new user. We can print out new user stuff like his name. Y'all with me still? So we made a structure, call it user, declared some variables, and then here's how we would call a new user to happen. So we could do another user too as well. So, And this is a little bit of recap about structs, but that's okay. It's good to recap. We'll make this a new, this new lady. Sally. Sally Laura. S Stella. <laughs> Sorry. It's giving them multiple names. It's funny. And hers is sls at gmail.com. Say she's also, yeah, she's also 23. Whatever. So now you can see you can create multiple users based on this one blueprint up here. Well, Sometimes you might want something to uh, be static up here. And the reason I usually use this is, um, here, let me show you how I use it. I'll make a structure, not a string, structure. And I call it colors. Oh, actually, let's do text today so we don't have to import anything. So I'll make a structure with text and I'll put it uh, in a, its own Swift file and this will be all the um, client facing text. So if there's something that the client sees in my app that I need to change, I have it all inside of text. And I'll call this a static uh, variable equal to welcome to my app or static variable and call it um, my app name. So then anywhere in my app, I would just call text dot, uh, oh, well, I guess I need to give this a name. So then anywhere in my app, I can call text app name, text welcome, without doing this business of declaring a new user or declaring a new text thing. So, so if I didn't put static, the word static here, if I just did that, it's going to give me a, a hard time for this welcome message here. See, you can't use it without, without declaring this structure to begin with. So when you put static in there, it now says, oh, okay, you can access this from anywhere because you're never going to change this. So you can just say text app name is equal to this or that. So this is what's called a type property because these are variables and let statements are properties. Probably be a let statement. It's never going to change. We might as well make it a let, right? 
Okay, so this is a type property. This is a type function. It's essentially the same thing, right? So, so I could add, pass a string in here and uh, what's your problem? What's your damage? Oh, static function add text. So I could pass a string into here and do some stuff to a string. So then I could call a text function uh, add text. See what I'm saying? So you can call these without redeclaring text. Let's show you just the comparison. If I take these out, then how would you still use them? If, you, if they weren't static, then you would do something like this. Uh, let text struct, e text struct equal text. So now I've declared this new thing called text struct. And that is what I would put down here. All of a sudden, we gain access to stuff that's inside of text. You see, it's like a shortcut. So it's for like lazy people like me that don't want to add this extra line of code. There's probably another good reason to do it. But that is a type method. And this is a type property. So down here, in uh, some of our homework, uh, we found that they wanted to add a static variable in here called um, current user. Now, they did this in a weird way, I think, but they want to make the user call itself. So this is kind of bizarre, I think. But this is what they asked us to do, so we're going to do it. That's not my email address. It's not even an email address because there's no at symbol in it. It's a little early, guys. Bear with me here. Age. Let's say I'm 25 today. Okay. Um, all right, so they asked us to do something like that which I think is kind of weird. Like, why would you call a current user, why would you call a user inside of, I don't know. Sure. I guess it's fine. Who cares? Sure. Um, and then they asked to make a function called login. So these are, because we're saying static, these are type uh, properties and type methods. We want to make a login thing and we're going to call user of type user. So it passes a user into this function. It's kind of neat. And then they want to say, well, the current user is now equal to well, I would say the user that you passed in there, right? And then let's print current user. Hmm. All right, let's see if this works. I'm not sure. Let's give it a try. So we made a new user, Jim Bob. Jim Bob Jack Jonas. And then let's set the new user. So now we can go user dot login new user. What do you think about that? Bam! Totally works. I guess that's kind of nice because then you know you've got a user struct and within user struct you've got all these methods like uh, current user, initialize, and you also have instead of user you've also got these um, variables. You know what I would do? This is just me, but this is a little confusing to me. So I would probably use extension down here. Extension user, it might yell at me. Maybe I can do this, maybe I can't. Let's see if I can. I, I wanna put functions 
and weird stuff in the extension and I want to keep only the variables up top. So it just helps me in my mind know what the heck is going on with this particular structure. It's still cool with that. So now we say there's a structure called user and we're going to extend some extra functionality down here. And we'll make these static so that we don't have to say new user login. We could just say user login and then pass the user into it. So hopefully this helps to clarify stuff about type properties and type methods. I have been using them for a long time now and I didn't even realize it. Um, but basically, essentially, you put the word static in front of a variable or a function inside of a struct and voila, you have made a type property or a type method.